How you doing? I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to configure your audio device and set up channel naming or channel mapping in Reaper. So let's go to our preferences. Right over here. And if we go under audio and choose device, here we can choose the audio device we're going to use. Now obviously yours is going to be different than mine. It's going to have many different options to choose from, depending on how many devices you have plugged in. These are the basic ones that come with my computer, but I also have some hardware devices that are plugged in, like this Tascam unit or my Lynx Aurora 16, which has 16 inputs and outputs. Let's choose that one. Now the next option is to choose the sample rate. Right now we have this turned off, so it's going to default to the hardware unit, or how we set it up with that company's specific software. So right now it's 44.1, 24-bit. But if we want to change that, we can change it right here to 48. And notice the changes right here. Or 96. Or anything else we want. But let's put it back to 44.1. And also, it can be changed in the project settings. So if this is turned off, it's still on 44.1, but we could change it in our project settings. If we choose the project sample rate, we could change it right here. And now, it automatically changes as well. So we could do it in either place. Let's put it back to 44.1. And now let's go back to the preferences. The next option is we can request the block size. This is going to determine how Reaper performs. With a lower number here, the latency when we're doing recording will be much smaller. Right now, it's set to 256. So our latency is 5.8 milliseconds, but we could change that. We can choose to request the block size at 512, and that changes it here to 11 milliseconds, which has more latency. But if we're dealing with a bigger session and your computer's not that fast, you might have to set it higher so it doesn't glitch. But if your computer's fast enough, you can set it lower to 128, which will only be 2.9 milliseconds of latency, or even 64, which will be 1.4 milliseconds of latency. But again, if you have a big session going on and your computer's not that fast, you might hear some glitching. So in those situations, especially if you're mixing and you don't really need low latency, we can make this higher, even 1,024 which has more latency, but you can run bigger sessions on a slower computer. So let's put it back to 512. That's a good starting point. Now the next thing I want to show you after you set up your device is how to name your inputs. Because right now, if we go to our track, under our input, all the inputs are named very generically. Input one, all the way to 64. So that's not very useful to remember what we plugged into each input. So we want to use channel mapping to make that a lot easier. Let's go back to our preferences and go into audio. Now by default, this is turned off. Input channel names or remapping. What we should do is turn that on. Choose this here, click this, and here we can rename all our inputs. Now I mentioned before, there's only 16 inputs on the Aurora. So we can go from 17 to 64 and remove them because they don't do anything anyway. Now we should rename our inputs based on what's plugged in to a hardware interface. So like input one, maybe it's our kick mic. Input two, maybe it's our snare. Then some toms. Some overheads, overhead left, 
overhead right, and a pair of room mics. Room left, and room right. So that's a lot better. So now if we close this, hit OK. If we go to our tracks, under input, go to mono, here's our track names. Kick, snare, a couple of toms, overheads, and rooms. Makes it a lot easier to remember what's plugged into where. And we could do it with mono or stereo. But if you notice, the stereo tracks aren't staying with stereo pairs. This is one and two, this is two and three. So it's a little bit more confusing. So if you want to keep it as stereo pairs, deselect this option right here. Show non standard stereo channels. If we turn this off and go to stereo now, just the typical pairs, odds and evens, show up, making it easy to find our overheads and our room mics to create stereo tracks or stereo inputs. Now, at some point, we might want to change those inputs. So, what we should do is save them. So, go over here. Let's delete these because we're not using them. And let's save these as a drum setup. Now, if later on we reset this back to the default, these generic inputs, we can always go back to that drum setup by simply going to load, choose the drum setup, and it goes right back to how we saved it. And we could also do this with outputs right down here. Turn this on. Again, this is very generic. So let's rename it main left, main right, maybe a pair of headphone outputs. And maybe an effects end go into a hardware reverb, which would be the reverb input. Then we could delete what we're not actually using, save it as our main outputs, and now if we go to our routing for our hardware outputs, we could choose the main outputs, our headphone outputs, to create a headphone send right here, or a reverb send by choosing this. And notice we see them as stereo because we turned off the option right down here. Turn that back on. Now we see the other options like main right and headphone left. Most times you don't need that. So I usually turn it off. Making it easy to find our stereo outputs. Here, here, or choosing mono ones, right here. And again, that's all saved. So if this gets reset, back to our default, hit load, load it back in, and it comes back how we saved it. And of course, we could save as many of these as we want. One for our drums, one for multi-mic piano or guitars. Just save as many as we want and recall them very easily. So it's a real time saver, as it's much quicker to work with inputs and outputs that have names rather than just numbers. So anyway, that's configuring your audio device and channel naming or channel mapping in Reaper. So I hope you learned something, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Thank mm -hmm. you.